Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to use the QB. All you have to do is to download the QB software and install it. After installing it, click on it to open. You can use QB five, seven, or any of them. And here's our QB now. We have recent, it will lead you to the previous work you have done. We have recording, we have acoustic guitar plus vocal, mono, and other stuff. We also have scoring for bands, pentads, and orchestras. And you can also create your own. We have MIDI, sequencer, and other stuff. We have mastering. This is when you are done with the whole work. You come here to master the work. But now we are using the production, which is the MIDI sequencer for beginners. Cubase works in channels, so you need to get the idea or understand the way the software works. So, in order to get started, you need to choose a tone in our first track. So, you need to go to devices and go to F11. That's MIDI VST instrument. Whenever it pop like this, you need to cancel it. If you create it, it will lead you to another track over there. You need to cancel it so that we work in the same channel we are we have selected. So these are group agents. You need to select the tone. There are so many tones over there, so you can choose whatever you like. It's working now. So we have done selecting our tone. We need to activate it. And you can choose another tone. Depending on the work you are doing, whether hip hop or her life or classical or any of them. So when you are done choosing, you need to select the track you want to activate the tone in and go there and activate the tone. When you are done. By then, if you have your MIDI keyboard in, you can start using it. Thanks for watching.